Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna start working on our pickup system for our weapon. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we have our pickup master class. So we're gonna create a blueprint, a child blueprint, and it's gonna be our basically our pickup weapon master class. So weapon pickup. It's not gonna be the, the master class, but it's gonna be the pickup. For our weapon so we're gonna use this one to pick up some weapon so we're gonna go right in it and in this in our weapon pickup so let me just check here make sure I don't do any mistake so in our weapon pickup we're gonna need few things here on the side so we're gonna create a variable and we're gonna need our current current ammo in our clip gonna make sure it's an integer we're gonna duplicate this and do it again and this time it's gonna be our current a spare ammo that we have and we're gonna have our weapon pickup that is right here so which is already come by default obviously but we need a weapon to give so which weapon the player is going to have when he walk over over this so we're going to create another one and it's going to be weapon to give and we're going to make sure that in the weapon to give we do a reference to our weapon master class so we're going to search for our weapon master class which is right there and we're gonna need a class reference because this is for an object, an object, an object that is already in the world, and this one is reference to all the object that we have. So this one that we want. So we're gonna compile that. So now we have few things. So on the current ammo in clip, we're gonna make sure that it's editable and exposed on spawn. Same thing for the spare ammo because we're gonna need that later. In this, really, there's not a lot to do. So we're gonna go on the event graph here and we're gonna remove all of that. As you know, we just created as a child blueprint of our pickup. We can basically just search for the, uh, uh, we're gonna search for pickup sphere enter. We're gonna take this one. I'm gonna need the pickup sphere left, which is this one there. Same a little bit like our item, you know, the health when we walk over it, it's a little bit the same principle that we're doing. So here in the character, so we're going to need a current pickup for our reference. What we're going to do, we're just going to go create it in our character. So we're going to go to first person character and the character. And I think it's under mesh. No, actually first person blueprint. We're going to open that. And here on even big on plate, we're just going to do a reference to our weapon pickup. So we're going to drag from that and we're going to cast to this one here. So the weapon pickup. So we're going to select the weapon pickup and we're going to create a reference to this, which we're going to call current weapon pickup. And here we need an object reference. So how we know which object to put in that is because we already, we always call cast to the first person character or third person character, but most of the people don't know what to put here. So we're going to have to create a variable that's going to fit right there. How we know it's a good one. Well, if you double click on this and uh, not double click, but if you go on your weapon pickup here, you can see it's a parent class of the pickup master class. So if you open that, you're going to see it's parent class of what actor. So it's exactly what we have to create. So we're going to go back here. We're going to do a variable. We're going to call that actor. And we're going to make sure that we change the type for actor. And we take this one here. It's going to be an object reference. And we take that, put it right there. And if you compile, Boom, you're all good, no error, and now we have a reference. Why we put this is like asking for a certain movie. So you're gonna say, hey, I want this movie, I want the number one out of three. And they're gonna ask you, well, which one exactly you want? You say, hey, I want you know the matrix, but which you want which one you want. By putting that here, they're gonna know exactly which one you're talking about. So I know it's a little bit like not a very great example, but it's a little bit how it's work. We're gonna go back to our weapon pickup and now we can have our current we can take our reference to our current uh, pickup 
that we had so this one uh, here so current weapon pickup so we should be able to access that so current weapon pickup so what we're going to do we're going to set this one so we're going to plug it right there and the current pickup will be self and on the exit here it's a little bit the same so we're going to drive from that we're going to take our current weapon pickup we're going to uh, not set it this time we're going to just get it uh, so weapon pickup we're going to get it and from that we're going to do an equal not plus but equal and it's going to be self I'm going to need a branch, put it right there, plug that here. And now, if we drive from that, we should be able to get our weapon current pickup once again. But this time it's going to be set. Set to what? Set to nothing this time. Because we're exiting, so we don't want anything anymore. So, and we're good with this. And one more thing. So, we need to remember the amount of ammunition that when we drop the gun on the floor. Because if we pick up that gun again, we want if they have, there is four bullets in it, we want to remember that there is four bullets in it. So we're gonna do that right from the even begin play. So even begin play, and from that we're gonna have a branch. We're gonna plug it right there, and we're gonna get a variable. So we need a variable if the player drop it or not. So we're just gonna create a variable. We're gonna put. drop by our player and make sure my keyboard always change sometimes it's this key some sometimes it's the other key so it's gonna be a boolean I'm gonna take that plug it right there so is it dropped by the player if it's true it's go there if it's not true it's go there so we're gonna go from false here and we need our weapon to give which is right here. So we're going to take this and we're going to search for something that we call class default, which is going to give us access to everything that we have in this class. So our weapon master class is going to give us access to everything we created. You probably remember. So we have access to everything with this. The only thing we really need that we need to remember is the amount of ammunition we have in the clip All right so we're gonna take our ammunition in the clip it's gonna be set and our spare ammo is gonna be set I'm gonna plug this to false and false and this one will be there and there and now you have it so when you drop your gun on the floor it's gonna remember the amount of ammunition however we don't need all this so what you can do, you can click on all of them and remove the pins. So if you don't, if you don't want everything, so that way you're just gonna see what is important. Well, actually, we have to keep those two because we need it. There we go. And I think it's animation here. Perfect, and we have a reference too, so we can remove that as well. So where is the reference? Oh, right here. Perfect. It's a little bit nice and tidy that way. So it's gonna remember this little code is gonna remember when we drop our gun on the floor. It's gonna remember the amount of ammunition that we have in our gun. So when we pick it back up, it's gonna be the same amount of ammunition in it. So we'll all go with that, so we can compile and save. So I believe we are done with our weapon pickup, so we can just close it. Yeah, I think I'm going to just conclude this one there. This has been a quick one. This has been just 10 minutes. But I'm only going to continue on the other one, and uh, it's going to be for our first-person uh, character. So I'll just catch you on the next one.